What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to tint a car window which is going to be on the 2007 Infiniti G35. I'm going to go through the cleaning process which is preparation and I'm also going to go through every step on tinting the window and the final prep of letting the customer have the car. Um, basically what you're going to need is you're going to need a heat gun and in my little pouch right here I have all the tint tools which I'll go over as I go through the process. A lot of people use single edge um, one inch razors. You're going to want to use the slide out razor which is the easiest because they break off. You can break away for a new blade. Um, you're also going to need an outside rag and an inside cleaning rag. And for this car you have to take off the door panel. So I'm going to go over those steps too but not as specific as I would as a car, a full car tin job. Now to remove the door panel on this car, you're going to have to remove the cover behind the, the handle. This cover right here, which just pops right off. And then you're going to need a Phillips head and a 10 millimeter. Phillips head goes down here. Two screws down here. And then you have the 10 millimeter socket for behind the handle. Once all that's removed, you grab the panel from the bottom front corner and you pull. And the whole panel pops off. And then with this car, you simply lift up the gasket. And then I like to put the panel back on so you don't let it hang on any wires or cables. And it just pops on. Now we'll go over preparation. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have the key on. Once you turn the key on, you want to make sure you turn off all radio, climate control, any extra accessories that you don't need when you're tinting the windows. Because you don't want to kill the battery, obviously. First thing you want to do is roll the window down about an inch or two. Then we clean the outside. Obviously, you see there's snow on the car. It doesn't matter the climate that you're tinting the car in, as long as you do the process the right way. Obviously when it's colder out, we're going to use the heat gun a lot more. You just want to clean out about a 5 or 6 inch strip across the bottom on the paint and the whole window. And then we're going to spray. And make sure we thoroughly, this, this window had window tint on it before. So I'm going to take my 1 inch razor blade, the single edge blade. And I actually have a holder. And we're going to start at the bottom, come up, and come around the top, making sure we get all the glue off. And everyone does it differently, but this is how I do it. I scrape it. And then I wipe it down to make sure there's no more glue residue on the window. And then I take my white stick and get in the edges. Because if there's a spot of glue anywhere on this window, once you put the tin on and the tin dries, it's going to pop out like, like anything else. It's going to look like dirt under the film. And then make sure you get the bottom edge too. You put the razor away. Wipe down the whole window again. Don't really worry about the door panel at this moment. And of course get the edges and corners again and the sides with the gasket jammer and the towel. 
Then we're going to wipe down the outside. Just to make sure it's nice and dry and there's no more dirt on it. And now we're going to go to applying the film and cutting it out. Alright, now let's start tinting this window. The first thing that we're going to do, it's already cleaned. The surface should be dry after you wiped it down the last time. We're going to take our spray bottle. I have um, basically Stop and Shop brand dish soap. It does not damage the glue at all. Many people think it does. The detergents in it do not damage the glue. It's actually the best thing to use second to the baby soap, which is, in my opinion, too slippery. So I have just a little bit of that in here mixed with um, tap water. And we're going to spray the window up and make sure it's nice and wet. This is so the film can slide around as we're positioning it. And of course you want to use good quality window film. This is Solar Guard's um, charcoal film. And this is actually the limo, which would be the 7% film, which is as dark as they make in the charcoal film. So we're just going to take a piece, lay it over the window as a rough cut, cut that out, get rid of the box, and then you want to spray the outside of the window for when you squeegee it down. Now the first step here is after you lay it down and you get the rough cut, just cut the edge, and then we're going to line up the bottom so it's exactly to the bottom of the gasket. You don't want a gap on this car. We're not shrinking it or anything. You run it up to the bottom. And any, any sedan, passenger car, and most SUVs, you're going to shift the tint up a quarter of an inch. This is because when you roll your window down, the window shifts. So when you cut, you're going to cut the front first. You get the edge down there and you get a nice straight cut. And then you want to peel that away from the film. You never want to peel towards the film because then you tear right into the middle of the film. Then you're going to lift up the front here and slide it up one quarter of an inch and then make sure your bottom is still lined up. And then you'll have it overlapping up there. Now what you want to do is take your yellow squeegee, very basic squeegee, really soft, and just mount it onto the window so it doesn't move when we roll it down. Just in the center. Then you want to take the back of the film, you pull it away, come down to the bottom, and cut straight up and pull it away. Now you have a nice straight edge on all three sides. Now what we're going to do is cut the excess off the top here. Most of the time you can use this piece of film for the back quarter glasses on windows. Um, that's on the back doors, but today we don't need it because those back doors are already done. So we'll throw that on the windshield, and now we're going to go to rolling the window down. You want to pull back on the top so it releases it, and then you grab the bottom and lift this up. Roll the window down very slowly, so you have about an inch and a half to two inch gap on the top. Then you want to make sure the film is straight across the top. And we're just going to lay this out so it's nice and even. Alright, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my sliding razor. I'm going to make sure I have a fresh tip by breaking away one of the, one of the layers. And I'm going to put out about maybe a little bit, three quarters of an inch of blade. And I'm going to come up to the front. I'm going to poke it in. And you ride all the way across the top, nice and smoothly, nice and evenly. So you have a straight cut that fits perfectly to the bevel of the window. And then, spray a little bit more water on there. So when we peel it off, we'll lay it just like this. And we'll straighten out the edges. You want to make nice rounded edges on the bottom corners so that it doesn't peel over time. And then the front edge, you want to kind of continue the flow of the cut that you did on the top. It's going to be jagged at one point, so you have to kind of clean it up. 
and bring it back down into the front. And now the back upper corner, you want to take a finger and just cut perfectly with your finger to the straight edge. Now of course you spray the film and the window again. If you only spray the film, when you lay this on and squeegee it out, you're going to crease it. So if there's enough lubrication, you don't have to worry about creases at all. You start from the top, you do a nice smooth squeegee, and then one hard one, and then take your hand and run it across the top. That'll take any debris from when you clean the inside. You won't have any debris dripping down. Now I'm going to come inside here and I'm going to prep the window for the film to be laid in. You're going to spray all the edges. Not too much water, but just a layer across the whole window. And again, you're going to take this yellow soft squeegee and it collects all of the dirt that's laying on the window. Start from the front and just bring it to the back until you have the whole window clean. I usually like to wipe the edge one last time and then push everything down to the bottom. And then you start from the top, spray all that dirt down. And then just put a nice even coat of water on the window. Now we're going to get the film ready to install onto the window. We're going to peel off the, the clear release by taking our teeth and rubbing the films together. And then that will loosen it up. And for this car, since we took off the door panel, we can remove the whole clear release and just drop the film into the panel. As you peel it away, spray it up. Make sure there's no dry spots and you don't want to oversaturate it. Alright, now that we have the film saturated in water on the front, we're going to grab it from the bottom rear corner. You want to touch as minimal of the film as possible because the more you touch it, the more dirt you get on it. You grab the bottom corner, the bottom rear corner, and you put your hand underneath and you pick it up. And then once you get down here, you face your hands towards the window. Take the bottom right corner and you want to slide that in there first, keeping the back away. And then eventually as you get the as you get the front down, you can lay the bottom rear corner and it falls right into place. Now you want to make sure you have an even amount of film on the front and the back so that when the window shifts, you don't have a problem with it having a gap. All right, now that we have it all lined up and we have a very nice close gap on the top, you obviously don't want to have it overhanging, but you obviously don't want a big gap. The closest you can get it, the better off it is, the nicer it looks, and the more professional touch it gives it. So we'll spray a thin layer of water on it, and right now we're going to use a Blue Max. Blue Max is for more experienced people because it's very, it's very unforgiving. If you hit a finger with this, it'll crease it, and you have to do it all over again. For first timers, I would recommend, recommend using the yellow squeegee. It's much softer and it's much more forgiving. So we're going to start by holding it with our thumb. And we're going to start from that point and do a nice soft, just a nice soft go over of the right side. Just to get the film mounted and then we'll push the rest out. Once you have it done once, you spray it a little bit more water for the lubrication. Then we start from the front. Pull that all to the back, really hard. Just to get all that layer of water between the film and the glass completely out. Which makes the film dry faster. Then we want to take it from the back and bring it down. Now we have this cool, this cool tool. Um, it's called the Easy Reach Platinum, which is, this is the Easy Reach Gold. There's a silver one too. This one's just a bit harder because it's gold. We're going to take that from the top and bring it down. That just, just gets all the water on the side from underneath the film. Now we're going to take our interior towel. We're going to wrap it in the, um, the platinum squeegee. And we'll push out the top. Now this is where the heat gun comes in. If you're doing this in really cool climates, you also want to wipe the top edge. If you're doing this in really cool climates, you want to wrap this in the rag and use the heat gun as you're pushing. This will evaporate the water as you're pushing it out.
All right, now once once you've done all that and you've checked the top edge, make sure it's not pulling back anywhere. You can roll the window right up. Give it a nice layer of, of water. And again, you want to start in the middle, but this time you're going to press down to release the water through the bottom. And again, you're going to take the easy reach, come to the cor front corner, bring that down. And again with the heat gun, this time you don't have to use the rag because it's going down into the door panel. Use the heat gun and just make sure any fingers are strong. The good thing with this car is it isn't really curved, the window isn't really curved so you don't get any little bubbles popping up, you know, the little fingers. So you don't really have to worry about that. The last step, of course, is putting the car back together and cleaning it up and not leaving a mess to make the customers always come back and be happy. Alright, there you go. That's how you tint the window.